Hey everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group here. Today we're continuing with our series, Anatomy of a Mix. Today we're going to explain how we mix the song Tennessee Tea by Cumberland Road, a country rock band. I co-wrote, produced, played a bunch of things on it, so I hope you enjoy it. Let's dig in. So let's slide up to the electric guitars. It's not that dense, this mix, so we'll check out. We have a main guitar that gets is strummed. So it's got a little hair on it, not too much. And all they have is the same Pro-Q2 and the SSL. Now you'll see this guy, the AKG, it's, it's automated. So we're gonna jump over here. So I wanted to play like a sub hook in the second verse. So I decided to kick in the tremolo pedal and then play that part. But to go with the tremolo, you kind of need the spring reverb. Here's the trim. Nothing complicated. Then I have a slide guitar here. So there's one mono track, which is the actual slide part. And then the stereo track is the delay return. So what I usually have at hand is I have two even tight H9s besides my eclipses. And um, I'll set them up for different things while I'm tracking guitars and route them back to a stereo track so it's printed. So here's here's a little bit of this solo. In context. Then in the bridge, I have a couple of them. Harmonies and whatnot and some go up in the second half to lift the bridge a little bit. So if you notice the volume jumped down, I was raising him up around the vocal. Then a little bit of fanciness here right before the chorus. Just a chord, I reversed it and panned it across. To give a little something for a transition. Then going out, we have a nice telly solo kind of fill thing. So that's a perfectly fine sound alone, but I felt like it needed more. So the next thing I added was this Kramer tape, which fattens it up a little bit and has a little slapback vibe. Then I decided to add a touch of micro pitch shift, which probably doesn't make any sense in a sort of a country song, but it, it made it sound a little more modern. Then on top of that, I added this uh, CLA guitar plugin, and I only really used a little reverb and a little more delay. So in solo, it sounds like way too much in context. It's fine. So sometimes you have your template and then you go for the quickest tool you know you can grab to make the thing happen. Then we have a B3. And I'm using the Saturn for a little saturation. I'm also filtering out some lows to make it fit better in the track and some highs. So I'm not letting the complete response go through. And then we have a little upper mids and lower mids poking out. 